How's it going, everyone? Hope everybody's surviving the corona. Okay, I'm just coming with you. I want to uh, jump in on the uh, group build for uh, the appreciation build for Ron Stewart and <clears throat> show you what model that I uh, plan on building. And of course, it'll be a hot rod because he's a hot rodder. He's an old school hot rodder, so I figured I'd build an old school hot rod. I don't build too many of these, but uh, I broke one out of the stash down there in the bottom somewhere, and I thought, well, this be perfect. So what I'm going to build him is the AMT 34 Ford. This kit right here, and uh, it's not going to be with the fenders on it. It ain't even going to look like that. It's it's going to be fenderless, and it'll have uh, the steel wheels on it. Uh, I'm not for sure what motor to put in it yet, but it probably won't be a Ford. Uh, I don't know to put a Oldsmobile or a, or a Cadillac or a Chevy, but it'll be something like that. But it'll have the steel wheels, probably the white walls, and then it'll be fenderless. And uh, I figured that'd be the perfect kit for over on Stewart. <clears throat> and uh, as far as on the bench right now I still got the Ferrari and that thing's kicking my butt uh, not really got a lot done on it I'll show you here in a minute but it's not much so as soon as I can get this thing off this POS off my bench <clears throat> I'll start on uh, I'll start on the uh, oh the charger for the uh, Corona 500 and uh, and I can start this little 34 Ford too, probably. That won't probably take just too awful long to build. But uh, that's just what I got going on right now. I ain't had a whole lot of times. I'm still working. Everybody still needs baby food, so I got to work. So I don't get a whole lot of time off. But I am on rotating shifts, so I work 12-hour shifts. So this is my weekend off right here. But it's raining outside, so I can't do a lot of painting. But uh, I don't know. We'll see what we can do. <clears throat> and then uh, I want to give a shout out <clears throat> to a guy that follows me he's a young kid and uh, he's a uh, train guy and uh, if you go to his channel he just built a model car and it was a uh, Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am and I think he's got another another one on the bench right now so he's just starting out in the model car so if I would, I would like for everybody in the community to go check him out sub him if you haven't already but it's Conrail Modeler 67890 Conrail Modeler 67890 okay yeah I just wanted to give a shout out to him he like I said he just built a model he's a young guy everybody help him out and uh I want to tell my little MG buddy it ain't models but uh Lewis Morales I just got me some decals for my MG in the mail today. It's uh, the BMC. He knows what this is. It's to go on my car. I just figured I'd give him a shout out. But uh, I'll turn you around here and show you what little bit I've gotten done. It, it's not much. The Ferrari, uh, I was listening to, uh, watching a mini war mutt, and he just built a, uh, a Shelby uh, 60. 67 or 68 Shelby Mustang and he said that thing's a fighter he said it, it was just fighting him all the way and he's just glad to have it done and well that's kind of the way I feel about this Ferrari right here I was I'd had big plans of what I was going to do to it and this and that but the more I work on it it's like yeah I'm just fighting to get it done and uh, I'll get the body painted here in a day or so and I'm pretty much just going to throw it together I'm not I'd planned on putting carpet in it and stuff like that, but with the warping issues and stuff this thing's got, that I'm just going to paint the body, detail around the windows, you know, instrument panel, it's not going to be much, and I'm just going to put it together, and, and uh, if it's too bad warped, I'll have to glue everything shut. I hate to, but gosh dang it, I'll have to, you know, some, some of y'all know what I'm t going through, some people just throw it away, but... I don't believe in throwing models away when you when you pay quite a bit for them. And two, this one's from years ago. <clears throat> I got frustrated with it once and put it up. I don't even know why I got it back out. I really don't. 
I'm sure y'all understand my rant here, but I did. I got back out. Now I wish I wouldn't have. Now it's taking up time. I thought about just throwing it back in the box again and just putting it up, but no. I've gotten this far. I'm going to fight for it, build it. And I'm excited about the Corona 500 build, the big charger, and I'm excited about Ron Stewart's build 34 Ford because I haven't built any American cars in years. It's been a while because my main passion is European cars, you know, rally cars, uh, just Formula One cars, you know, Volkswagens, uh, just Jaguars, Ford Escorts, you know, that's, that, I love that stuff. But, uh, like I said, I growing up, all I built was hot rods and customs and and, and stuff like that. That the, This day and time, the older I get, I just want to build more like that. But I'm excited to get on these next two because I haven't done any in a long time. So I'm excited for a Ronster build here. That thing is going to be nice. Like I said, I have not decided colors or anything, but <clears throat> looking at his hot rods, I know what he likes. I thought about building him a 32 Ford, but, you know, 32 Ford, you see them everywhere. Uh, I want to build him a 34. I like the 34s. I almost thought about building him a Vicky, a fenderless Vicky, but, no, I got ideas for this. I've been wanting to build one for a long time, and I figure, well, now's, now's the best time to do it. So I'm going to build it like this. Uh, and then the Buddy Baker car. I'm excited about it too. Uh, it's 116 scale. I haven't built one of those. I got the petty car too, you know. And I've always loved when I was a kid. I always wanted that clear body petty car, and never could find one. If you did, you couldn't afford it. Uh, <clears throat> I was never so glad to see them reissue it. The only bad thing about that reissue kit is they didn't do the clear body. I don't know why, but uh, which that's fine. But I always wanted to build one of them where I masked it off and painted down the middle, you know, one half of it clear and one half of it painted with the decals and everything. But maybe one of these days they'll reissue it with the clear body. But all right, I'll turn this around. I'll quit rambling and, and ranting and, and stuff. I'll turn this around and uh, show you what I haven't got done on this Ferrari. All right, here we are on the Ferrari. So you can see I got the front and rear suspension done. I just got this little interior tub sitting there. But you can see the, I don't know if you can see in there or not. It's hard to see in there, but you can see the, the springs, the shocks, the coilovers, what you want to call them. The front wheels move. And I just, just broke the wheel off. There we go. All right, you need to see the, the disc brakes anyway. There's the the disc brakes. Right there. You can probably see that spring in there a little bit better. And one bad thing about this kit is one of them stupid you can motorize it. It's got a big old hole here. There's nothing to put in that hole. You got this on and off switch. You got this little panel right here that I forgot to paint when I painted that. It's just fighting me. It's just a pain in the butt. Now I'm almost about ready to give up, but I've gotten this far. I'm just going to go ahead and paint that body and slap it together and get it off my bench. Well, if you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe to the Scale Model Car Guy channel. Peace out.